Back again. And welcome back uh, to <laughs> Breakfast with Stuart Wood. <laughs> we, were, we were discussing your move from the everyday, you know, grafting, hardworking weddings that, yeah. you know, we've all been involved with, and, you know, sure. the mainstay of our business. And you moved into, you wanted to move into the high end stuff. Yeah. How did you make that leap? How did you make it work? We're going to show some of the photos. Yes. Anyway. Yeah. Well, I realised that I'd got a good product to sell. I'd, I'd put the work in the trenches, if you like, uh, many years uh, before that, learning the lighting, how to light men and women differently, you know, uh, to make them look the best, working quickly, getting that connection. When you get two minutes to get a Radio Times cover, you've got to get a connection, otherwise it's you have it. It's proper gorilla style, isn't it? It is, it is, and it's all about the preparation, etc., etc. So, you know, when I saw this new wave of stuff coming over, uh, as I say from our Australian friends uh, to start with, uh, Jerry and, and Yvonne, so I thought this is absolutely perfect for me. Uh, so I want a piece of this, you know, I want to get involved in this because because it's a new challenge uh, and uh, as it's happening now, and, and uh, you know, it, it's not that I'm bragging about this. Uh, sometimes you can't believe it. But when you get flown to Istanbul Airport and your client puts a buggy on to buggy through the airport, and then there's a limo waiting to take you to your suite, you think, you know, this ain't bad, really, is it? You know, the lab, well, we're from Derby, you know. So. Then I had a conversation about this, and you said, I'm shooting all these amazing celebrities, but I'm not shooting their weddings. Yeah. Yeah. And I think and that, I think was, that a was a kind of conscious, conscious like, why am why I not, am I you know, not? why can I not switch those links over? And it was at that point, you yeah. know, you started to look at both the you know, connection with the wedding venues and the, and the, and the, the wedding exhibitions that kind of work to that, to that marketplace. And yeah. I think, you know, you, but it wasn't just about that, was it? You, you know, you yeah. made those grafting phone calls and put yourself Absolutely. in the places. And and still do and, and, and like I was telling you before, you know, when we're having a little chat beforehand, I mean, these last few weeks, uh, yeah, this is an opportunity. It's not nice, this lockdown. And, and I used the first lockdown, and I've used this one as well. Uh, uh, yeah, I've, I've uh, you know, like all of us, uh, sat around a little bit too much and, and, and et cetera. But I've, I've exactly. But, uh, but uh, uh, diet starts tomorrow, by the way. But um, I've also used it. And this last few weeks, I've been, this thing called Zoom, which I've never heard of before. I mean, I've been... Uh, hammering at the at the top planners some of the world's top planners and i've been uh, talking to sometimes up to four a day on zoom wow. you know uh, giving away sending yeah, this magazine. honestly <laughs> guys you have to get this the, you are missing a trick and i'm not i'm not on commission on this i promise you but you are missing a trick i've sent this and the forerunner to some of the best wedding planners in the world and it's knocked them out i tell you it's absolutely knocked them out with the quality you know you're missing a trick get one you know because uh that uh, digital's fine but then they get this wonderful digital, princess <clears throat> digital. Mm. you know it used to be i mean back back previously the you know art directors etc and wedding planners they'd get a disc and uh, and i know being in i was in a marketing office one time and i saw photographers disc being used as frisbees you know and it was it was like if that's what's happening to them yeah. you know people need to think okay what can i do that's going to grab the attention you know it's easy to stick things on a usb it's easy to stick things in a cloud yeah. but stand out differently and i know that yesterday we had a great piece by miranda walton about our magazines um, and how she uses them for schools and business alliances uh, and of course for her own business but for you too yeah. it's been a it's been one oh. of those <coughs> elevators unbelievable absolutely un unbelievable and, and you know if, if if, you, if there's you and another photographer up for somebody's wedding but this arrives okay on their doorstep you know i've got I'm, I'm wrapping it in a vellum envelope now so it looks even looks even more amazing even before they open it if you want to if you want to, to to get people to understand that this is about spending money this is about I'm fitting, fitting into your world this yes. is luxury this is the brand exactly. that i'm in then you've got to present in that way haven't exactly you? You, you, you have to do everything like, like that yourself um uh, and and your product has to you know because if you don't they'll pick the one that's doing it it's that Let's simple look through some of your yeah images sure as well because um, so and if we can get the guys in italy to share the uh share share the uh the, the next screen that would be fantastic and hopefully we can see those coming up now so do we have those on no not yet Okay, so there's a little technical glitch, as, as often happens when we're doing these live things. Um, so, um, but, so, so you, actually, you actually moved your you know, whole world into that luxury wedding, wedding market. Yep. Um, 
And what, um, what was your first, first move? Where was your first move into that? I'm just going to cheat, try and uh, move oh, this over. My first move um, was realising, I suppose, I'd kind of outgrown my hometown because there was not, not a lot there that, uh, of what I wanted to do. Uh, nothing wrong with my hometown. I love it to bits, still there. But, but sort of making that move down to London. The, London, London, you know, is, is the central universe, universe whether you like it or not, for a lot of things. And it is for, you know, the, the, the well, a lot of people well. travel into London as well, don't yeah. they? You know, the yeah. thing, what people don't often appreciate, yes, it's a city of 8 million people, which is big as many countries, but it, it, it grows phenomenally. I mean, it hasn't done over the last year because yeah. nobody's been able to travel. But mm. people mm. come to London for so, so many, many reasons, reasons, and getting married is one of them, particularly because the central London venues yeah. are so, so amazing. And often, Absolutely. And often I know, in your world, they'll have multiple different weddings too. They'll have a something in London and yeah. then they might go off to a castle somewhere or go yeah. to go overseas as well at the yeah. same time. But you know, like you say, the, the main venues are there. I mean, not all of them, obviously, uh, but but also, you know, that's where most of the, pla the, the uh, uh, sort of high end so, planners are based as well. So, so you, your connection point has, has been working hard with the high end planners then. Yes. Yeah. So tell and me, tell me how, tell me how you do that. Tell me what, you know, what, about well, yeah. magazine, which obviously you want to send a yeah, yeah. get that first yeah. phone call. You have to do the networking. <clears throat> um, I'm in the NAWP, for instance, uh, which is high-end sort of uh, business networking as, um, association, uh, and you know you have to do the and, and I, I have to get away from that barrier that was well, Stuart's based somewhere up north. You know, uh, I I'll, I'll turn up to the opening of an envelope. You know, and the, the people will say, "Blimey, you're here more than us, and we live here." So there's not that barrier like, "Oh, Stuart's this hopefully quite nice guy, but he's miles and miles and miles away." It's just, "Oh, Stuart's here again." You know, you people buy people, and and to be honest, it ain't exactly slumming it if you're uh, having a you know a soiree at the Savoy or a uh, you know or a, a a party, a summer party at uh, the Cafe Royale and all this kind of thing, you know, and uh, and so that's where you and and. The other thing as well, obviously, you don't swamp them because I always feel sorry for planners. They turn up at these parties and <laughs> there's all these. Because I know a couple of planners that come to me and say, "Can we talk to you?" Because like everybody else is just basically wanting work, you know. Like, yeah, come on, so we'll have a drink and uh, you know. So you do it properly, obviously, and uh, and then you know they'll start to uh, look at your work and if it's their style. Not always. And again, don't. I've got away from the idea, and this is a big move. Don't try and be everything to everybody. That's you'll be nothing. I you know. Well. That's great, isn't it? Yeah. We, I remember one of the first uh, talks that you did. And you, you talked about, about a frame, frame within a frame, frame within a frame. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's this, right. This yeah, it always works. Yeah, it's, it's, mm. a, it's a fabulous mm. shot. And it, obviously, that's not a Blenheim Palace. Uh, not a bad location at Blenheim Palace. Palace. Blenheim Palace no, is it? that's right. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, like, so don't be trying to be everything to everybody. Home, you know, you only have to get uh, 20 clients a year, and there's seven billion of them on the planet, isn't there? You know, so that was that's is that is this live now? This one, this is a, a fabulous wedding I did in Santorini, and again, look, the, the lighting. I knew I couldn't, that, like, that lamp's fixed, so I moved uh, Matt and Jess around. So it, it's short lighting on her, which is beautiful for ladies, broad lighting on Matt, which is very masculine, you know. So I moved them to that to, to, to sort of match the, uh, yeah, that's right. Just lift it that little, little bit extra. What's very, very clear, and, and in fact, in every single interview, is identify who you want your client to be. Yeah. Absolutely, that's the key thing. Who is your client? Who do you want them to be? Because as you just said, you cannot shoot everybody. You can't do every wedding. Who is it? What are they? What are their life expectations? How do they fit into the world? And then you've got to make sure you fit your business and yourself into that world, don't you? Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and when it is a good fit, I, I stay friends with all my yeah. couples, you know? So. And I think that for me, and we're going to come on to a couple of other of some of some pictures that you've done actually in the, um, in the Savoy later on, which and that helped you get connected with some William. I know because you never know where that. it's going to go. That's no, right. No, precisely. I know. I know. Yeah. And, you know, just flicking slowly through these uh, through these pictures, and you can see obviously the the Santorini wedding uh, figures yeah. in figures highly, but also some of those some of those um, some of those different weddings are too. Some of the different locations that you're at. Um, and still, sh but still showing the fun and vibrancy of a of a typical wedding. Of course. You know, and I think that that's what's key. Those those uh, those moments of fun, the moments of the candor that uh, 
that become so important into people's albums. <laughs> that's, a love, that's a fun one. We love, we love that one. And that's um, the same wedding as, as the, one, the previous shot as well. Right. But because of my sort of TV and magazine, you know, that is, is a pretty straightforward lighting exercise for me. Uh, obviously, without the light, that, they'd be silhouetted in there, you know, but, uh, uh, but this is what I can offer, you know, because of what I've done before. Again, same wedding. But just keeping the same style, but just offering different sort of just different locations, yeah. and, and yeah. they all get albums. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. You, and yeah. I know you've created some specific specific albums that are uh, um, that are specific albums for each client, and you create your style. But it actually everything really represents what they are for for each of those clients. Yeah. So um, we're going to stop sharing now because there's a couple more that I want to find. Um, and, uh, and in particular, the ones that you did at the Savoy. Yes, yeah. Tell me how that worked for you at the Savoy. What was it? That right, well, uh, because of uh, my good friend, my, the lovely Lisa O'Reilly, who you met at um, Four Seasons, 10 Trinity Square, yeah. uh, she introduced me. Uh, basically, I knew Lisa from four seasons hampshire when she was there she moved to this new place which is the, kind of their flagship one i suppose now 10 trinity square and they needed some wedding pictures to just even though it wasn't finished yet just to put up on their their website um so uh, she said we've got susie turner one of our top couturiers uh we've got lots of models and stuff will you shoot the pictures like wow yeah okay so so we shot those <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so down we went, and there was again the hotel wasn't. Uh, they were still kind of working in certain rooms and all that, but that's fine. Um, and we shot some stuff for them to put on the website. So Susie and I uh, then um, struck up a, a bit of a uh, friendship or, or, or a friendship. And she says, "Look, I, I do this afternoon tea thing once a month at the Savoy, uh, and then uh, it's the girls walking amongst the folks when they're having tea. Uh, we want some of that kind of stuff, like catwalk stuff. But also, uh, they give us the hotel uh, uh, for." best part of the day uh, and I want some of my stuff shot there will you do it it's like, yeah absolutely so we had some do I have, them? <laughs> have you got them? Cool. So, I'm just trying to find you that find them, yeah. now, I so well, I hope so because we're building this up now aren't we <laughs> yeah, uh, so uh, so we I mean that one that oh, was that one yeah that one there that you're about to um, that's like in the royal suite which apparently was sonata's favorite you know so uh, and it's got that's that's got the best i don't know what that goes for new year's eve because it's got the best view of the eye opposite and uh, and all the rest but that's uh, uh, one of the girls getting ready there so uh, uh, so I know that was one and, that. Uh, and then this, as, as you as you said, Susie started posting these uh, on her Instagram, uh, and then uh, a very good friend of mine now called James James Lord uh, that owns Bride Looks, very high end company that does uh, the best shows and the best seminars and and, and symposiums, uh, got in touch with Susie and said, "Who's this Stuart Wood?" You know, so I met up with him, and and uh, so you know. Things come from uh, the, the harder you work, and the more the, the pictures go out, uh, so the you, more the opportunities come in. So you, you you're doing these shoots purely for your you know as part of kind of either publicity or weddings or just yeah, yeah. people connect up. Um, and you and your shoots went out there, and then suddenly you get a, you you make phone calls and you make those connection points, and all of a sudden you're with American wedding planners. Yeah, yeah, and uh, some you're quite famous American wedding planners, yeah. um, and uh, I've got that. Exactly, and that's the story I'd like you know I'd like right. to hear. So yeah. how did that how did that come about? This is, I told you I'm fearless now, and and I still did one thing I did during lockdown. I've got because you know what I'm like, and I don't want to spend too long on this, but was how some people during a crisis and when uh, change is happening, some rise and some crawl under rock, you know, hear from them. And I found out there's this thing in your head called your amygdala, it's called the lizard brain as well. And, and we've all got it. And there's this little voice saying like, Jeremy, who do you think you are? Of course you can't do that. Stuart, you're, from, you, you're just a boy from have, Derby. I don't know. I just... <laughs> <laughs> and, and if you I, think, look, I think I've lost that bit. <laughs> well, I have now. Because... Jeremy, you can't jump out there in front of you. Of course you can. Well, exactly. Yeah, I wouldn't do that, yeah. <laughs> but um, the guy on the... got a, a raft of, of, of free videos on YouTube called Seth Godin. He'll explain it a lot better than I will. But he, what he says, when that voice is screaming at you to stop, that's not a red light. That's a green light. Go for yeah. it. So to prove that, last... Uh, summer, James, 
uh, James Lord of Bridewell to put in this International Wedding Symposium on. And he got Sharon Sachs, who's like biggest wedding planner in the world, did Kanye and Kim's and worked work with JLo and all the rest of them. So on she comes. Uh, Zoom thing, you know, uh, and and they said uh, let's ask some questions afterwards. Now you know what the British are like. Oh, I, I better not put my hand up or because you know I'm out make myself look silly. Like forget it, I'm going to go for it. So I asked, I got a question on there, which is quite easy because there wasn't many others bothering to ask. And in brackets I put, may I contact you? And I thought, what have I got to lose? You know. Yeah. So, so you um, can always say no or ignore well, it. And, <laughs> but, <laughs> Jeremy, the sun's still going to come up the next day. Yeah, you know, exactly. you'll get over it. Yeah. So so like you know this thing which I, which you know. I live by now Mark Twain said in 20 years time you're going to regret what you didn't do not what you did well I'm not you know I'm going to give it my best shot anyway so I got this question in May I contact you she looked at the screen couldn't see me she went Stuart please contact me so I sent her a PDF of my graphic magazine uh, and, and the next day an email came back she went I think you're Works amazing. Her words, not mine. And funny enough, the Savoy shot. She goes, send me that, and I'll put it on Instagram. So I've got like the world's biggest pla wedding planner. Put in my picture on her Instagram, going, everyone take a look at Stuart Wood because his work's amazing. Blah blah wow. blah blah blah. So that weren't bad. And I thought, now it's getting to that point now where where the trail's going to go a little cold if I'm not careful, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I said to her, Sharon, thank you. I've emailed her. Thank you. That was so good of you to do that. Uh, uh, I owe you one. And uh, one day I'll meet you face to face and thank you personally. Blah blah blah. May I ask you one final favour? You see, uh, new websites coming along, etc. Uh, etc. Et uh, can you give me a one-line quote about what you feel about my work? Listen to this, Jeremy. <laughs> it is a gift when we come across the works of a brilliant artist, Stuart Wood, carries such a title. The memories he creates are breathtaking. Sharon Sachs, founder of Sachs Productions and named world's top winning planner. That'll do. <laughs> that'll do, won't it? You know, pay for that, can you? <laughs> you, know, that's, you know, you can't pay for that. And strangely enough, that's why it's on the front of my graphic <laughs> magazine. You know. So, so actually talking about that, because obviously I'd like to touch a little bit about, about product. I touched a little bit about albums and things like that. Do you think, you know, when you see your clients, you know, we we see we've seen a massive change over the years from, you know, everyone's gone to digital and yeah, we don't need albums because we've got it all saved on, you know on MySpace, or we've got it saved on Friends Reunited, or no, where have they gone now? And, you know, uh, generations now are turning away from Facebook, and uh, mm. do you see that print still has a place? Absolutely, absolutely it does. When I see, I know this has been said a million times, I'm gonna say a million and one. When I present to, to my clients that Graphy Studio album, and I'm not again. I'm not on commission, I'm, but I'm, I'm being honest here. Your your guys, you guys make the best, and you're the only one I use. You know that. And uh, I can't. The, this family that that love me and I love them are very private, so I can't tell you who they are. But you can imagine that. And uh, just before Christmas, that album, bless you, you got it through in time. I drove it down. Well, bless, and, me, and, and, bless the guys in Italy. They thank you, thank you, guys in Italy. Yeah, it. uh, we were in tier or whatever it was then, but I risked it too. 200 quid fine or whatever to take it down to them and I presented it to him and it you can't believe the reaction he got when he saw his young book. Uh, well, I know we were creating specific logos, specific yeah, yeah, things. Yeah. It was unique for them, something yeah. special that they wanted. Yeah. We can't say anything more. And that's something that you know we're always pleased to do. If you have something that you go to, what I wonder if they can do this. Just ask. If you're in the USA, just ask on a Maureen team. If you're in France or Belgium, ask Francis in Italy and and, and many other surrounding countries and Spain. Anyway, just ask your local graphic studio representative or office even in russia we have a we have a group in russia pietra over there you, you know you you can ask us because we'll do what we can absolutely to make it specific for you it's not a case of you know just sending a, a, a file in and it just spits a book out everything is bespoke and handmade mm. Uh, and I know we worked really, really hard to get that done mm. for this client. And it took well, a while, didn't it? Because oh, they were backwards yeah. and forwards yeah, and up we, and down. And... They changed it now and again and this and the other. But <clears throat> when you consider that these people only have the very best of yeah, the best yeah. and then when i gave them that album they could not stop thanking me, you know, uh, and, and that's good and, enough for me. they're used to having lots of pictures and lots of things. And that's the point, I think, that, you know, seeing how in today's cameras capture the most incredible amount of data 
And unfortunately, too many people just throw it away by sending the prints off to, you know, snappy snaps or whatever. And, that, and they don't get that <clears> stunning <throat> no. quality that's no. available to them. And, that, and no. that's what the team in Italy have done. And during this lockdown, and, I, and I'm sure you've seen it in some of the posts that we've been doing, we've again reinvented ourselves inside the factory with updating some of the technology so that we can print what's coming out of those cameras. Yeah. Because otherwise, yeah. you know, why have this giant body and spend all this money on, on mm. you know, a giant chip rather, because the bodies have got smaller and the chips yeah. have got bigger. But, yeah. you know, and mm. spending all that money on glass on the front, if you're just, just going to stick yeah. it on uh, no, I know. Yeah. I, I never get that. Obviously, preaching to converted there here. But uh, as I say, you know, the clients that I'm getting and hopefully going to continue to get now, uh, you know, I'm only going to be using your album. So, uh, so, so I know that you probably don't want to tell people this, but anyone who's after that high end wedding market, <laughs> anyone who's, you know, when you retire, of course, you know, of course, yes. yeah, they're not before then. We'll do another book. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what would you say to anybody who you know, really wants to get into this world? you know, thinks, well, I, I think that's a world I want to be involved in. I mean, go for it. It's as simple as that, isn't it? You know, uh, do the research um, and, and just be a little bit more fearless and and because uh, what have you got to lose? Just go for it, you know? And here's the thing as well. I'm always, always trying to make my product better. Um, I don't worry about you guys because you wrap it up beautifully for me. But it, last lock, uh, sorry, first lockdown, I was studying all the fashion guys. Uh, I, I do anyway, but I really took the time to to look at Alexei Lubomirsky, who did Meghan and Harry's, etc. Because I love his Harper's Bazaar stuff, and I've introduced that into the new work, which is all this, you know. Yeah. So so all the time I'm improving, uh, and 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 I've still got this, uh, you know, fire. Is just as burning the, hunger, I, as, just the, as the hunger, hunger. That's the word, yeah. yeah. As I am, and I, and now I, I'm during this lockdown. I, I've got some more great venues and more planners, and it, it's going to go up another notch, you know. So, and you've got to keep uh, obviously uh, moving on all the time as well. well I want to talk to you um, just about uh, something else. I'll throw this little curveball question here. You, you took, took up, up running, up. didn't you? I did. And you, you've done the Great North Run a few times. A few times, yeah. What, what inspired you to want to actually take up running? I mean, because <laughs> I am doing it late, <laughs> lately, that's the <laughs> problem. Yeah. Um, Oh, well, uh, years ago, uh, I've, done, I've done it years, I'm, I'm no athlete, I'm, when I do the Great North Run, I'm, I'm at the back with the, <laughs> with the EU, <laughs> I get around, yeah, with the EU guys and all that, I trot around and I get, I get around, you know, so I've never, I used to hate it at school, and I, it, here's, here's one of the things that I always try and do, and I've tried to do as well, I used to loathe it at school, and, 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 and quite all cross countries on a Wednesday, it was like, oh, dread it, and I'm thinking, well, why don't I try and make that a bit of a strength, I'd never be an athlete, because I'm not built to be a runner or anything like that uh, and and I've run I don't know how many countless thousands and thousands of miles since then uh, and, and uh, keeps me fit and uh, it, you know get, makes me sort of focused as well so uh, so I can the thing is when you're out on the road as you're shooting the road you'll know this if you do it and and, and you can just think about it you've got no distractions you know so so I like that as well but but I kind of try to I, I made a weakness of mine a strength you know and, and, I, and I, I'm always trying to do that you know you can never be everything uh, and, and now uh, with other problems Projects which we should know about. We'll go go into that's another that's another lecture, isn't it? Uh, another seminar or whatever. Um, uh, you know, I, I'm I'm realising that I can't do where I want to go on this other thing on my own. Uh, so I'm going to have to have other people because I'm is your right brain the creative. I'm not. I'm not the best business. I'm not the worst businessman in the world, but I'm not the best. I, 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 I know that's that. something which, which I, 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 if you, if you know, know your, your massive strengths. strengths and you and know, you know that, you're, that if you're wasting, wasting your time, your time doing something you're not, not as good, as good at, at and your and time is more valuable, find, find somebody that can actually, actually do that. that. You know, I know that, that you know, Jerry Gionis sends, sends, sends out his editing, editing, for instance. You know, he said, I don't want to spend my time doing Photoshop. I want to be taking pictures and I want to be talking to my clients. I let somebody else do that because my time is far more valuable than that. And I think we can learn a lot from that. And a lot of photographers can learn from that. Yes, you yes, might you save might yourself, save yourself a, few a few quid, but think, but of, think the of the money you're wasting, wasting when you could be you could actually be meeting, meeting clients, clients or meeting mm. with wedding planners, planners even yeah. if it's on yeah. Zoom, and, and or, or taking more photographs, photographs, or even or doing your own personal, personal projects. projects. Yeah. Yes. You know, that's, that's one, one of the key, key things. things. And, no, I, and 
absolutely. It sounds like sounds that's like the same, same to you. Absolutely. absolutely, yeah, yeah. No, definitely. And you know what I'm like with my personal projects. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, and there's a, there's a few more in line that when I get to the chance to, you know, have a crack of those what's, as well. Can I ask, what's there, what's there a, defining a defining moment, moment in, in, your in your wedding, wedding that, 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 that just said to you, do you know what, I love, I love shooting, shooting weddings. weddings. Because, I, because I know that there are some photographers who I do weddings for and everything, but I yeah. just, I, you know, I'd much rather be doing portraits, or I'd much rather be doing yeah. this, or this or that or the other. Because you there is. love doing that, don't you? I do, and there is. How long we got? Oh, we got oh, five minutes. We've got five minutes, minutes. minutes because this is. I know, we've got three minutes. We've got three minutes, all right, but you know what I'm like. I was flown out to uh, uh, Lausanne and I was shooting at the Beau Rivage Palace Hotel, right? Uh, and uh, uh, my boy Alan was was assistant. He gets all the choice jobs, you know. Uh, and fully enough, uh, I, we'd been given a room with just one double bed, but it didn't matter because he's my son, you know, whatever. Uh, and we worked ourselves to a standstill on that wedding. Don't mind that. That's what I'm there for. You know, they looked after us and and whatever flew us out there and gave us a suite and all the rest of it and eat and drink what you like, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And it's and and uh, and then. At the end of the night, we were literally, we could hardly move, but that's great. It's a nice feeling when you give them the best. We got back up to the room. Uh, the, 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 the chap who got married, I said to him, look, we skipped dinner because we, we wanted to get these other shots for you. Uh, can we go get a bit of room service? Stuart, order what you like. So we went back and I said to Alan, right, get your shower, get your fluffy white dressing gown on, right? We're going to have... Uh, we're going to have beef, uh, uh, cheeseburgers, we're going to have french fries, and we're going to have Coca Cola and chocolate mousse in the room. And it arrived, and Alan lay on the bed, and he clicked on telly, and he found Match of the Day in, in Switzerland. And that's when I turned to him and said, it don't get much better than this, does it? And I tell you what, that was where I thought, right, yeah. this is for me. Yeah. This high-end weddings lock <laughs> is, is for me, definitely. Demanding clients. And you and give you incredible, incredible service, service, but you yeah. get the rewards from it. Absolutely, them. absolutely. You're fortunate enough to do that. We're, we're fortunate, fortunate enough, enough to see that. Um, I want to thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure. Um, Always. Um, uh, a final, uh, final couple, couple of words to everybody who's watching about being, being a wedding photographer or, or being a, a celebrity, celebrity photographer. photographer. Just a so couple of words. Just God. I'm lost for words the first time. I, I don't know. Two, two words. Two, I'm going to say it again, go for it. You know, just go for it. You've got nothing to lose. You know, just go for it. That's it. Brilliant. Mm. Awesome. Thank, awesome. You, Thank you, everybody, for joining us. We're yeah, going to be back, back here um, uh, with, with so, so many, many other great things later on today. Uh, Paul Wilkins is coming in <clears> to do a live shoot. shoot. We've got uh, Russ Jackson, Jackson that's coming in to do a, to do a live shoot. shoot. Uh, they're going to be sharing a lot about the way that they shoot to earn, and that's really, really important. Next up for us here is an interview with our sexual photographer, Sean Conroy, and we're going to look at some of his work, and we're going to, we're going to be able to share what he does and how he's got into that world, which is a very different world to us, and how he uses our albums to actually get his work. So really, really important. Join us for Sean Conroy uh, a little bit later on. That's the next interview here. Thanks, everyone, for joining us, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you. Thanks.